Na 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 How you gonna ask your friend to introduce you? How you gonna talk to me like I'm your baby, I'm your new boo? Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today's video was requested by one of my subscribers. If you watched me surprising my boyfriend Ronnie for his birthday, I did prepare a roast for him and my subscriber, I'll put the name on the screen now, asked me to show how I cooked and prepared the roast. So I love cooking this meal, so I decided why not to just, you know, record it and let everyone see it. I really hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. I just wanted to pop in really quickly because I didn't record an intro for this so let's just get right into it so i did have this marinating overnight and i just poured the remainder of the um sauce into the pan as you can see i already coated the first side off camera and then i just flipped it over and now i'm about to do the other side right here i just wanted to show you a close-up of the roast after i took it out the bag when it was marinating it looks really good really juicy this roast sucked up all of that juice really really good and i can already see that it's really really soft and tender already so all i'm using is all-purpose flour i'm using a measuring spoon just so i don't get my hands too messy but i mean i'm really not measuring anything i'm just trying to coat the whole roast hey little boy and i'm just going to spread it with the knife just because again i'm not trying to get my hands too messy because i am recording and the reason to coat your roast in all-purpose flour is because we are going to put it on top of the stove to actually brown both sides browning both sides just kind of speeds up the process in the oven this does take about three hours maybe three hours and 30 minutes in the oven um, i don't really like to do the crock pot because it takes extremely too long like six hours so so cutting it in half by already browning the roast and then putting it you know just in the oven is the way I like to do it and it's really faster for me don't mind my son Prince in the back as you can see literally every time I start cooking he's right there in the living room watching me because he knows he's not allowed in the kitchen trying to give me sad puppy eyes to give him food once your roast is all coated with flour, put it on top of the stove in a big enough skillet and then you're going to start letting it brown. I do have mine going over medium medium to high heat at first and don't forget to um, preheat your oven at 400 degrees. Um, I think I'm going to show that in the clip right now. And yeah, 400 degrees and i'm just going to be checking the roast kind of to see if it's brown enough to my liking you don't want it burnt but you don't want it like too light just the perfect golden brown don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications for more videos so i'm going to flip it over and that's brown enough for me it's already really soft and really really tender I think I'm going to yeah, poke in it a little bit, as you can see, and it's just steaming. It has the house smelling good. My mom walked in and was like, mm, what is that smell? I'm like, the roast ain't even cooking in the oven yet, and it's already smelling up the house. <laughs> but yeah, just let the other side brown, and once that brown, we're going to put it into the pan. So uh, I got this pan from Dollar Tree, honey. I did buy two for like $5, but I'm like, hold up, sis. Let me go to Dollar Tree because I know they got to have a pan. So I returned my pans to Walmart and got this for a dollar. <laughs> Place your roast in the pan. And the sauce that I already have in there is the um, liquid from the marination that I did overnight. And I just threw that on in there. And what I put in my marination was just my favorite seasonings. I put beef broth and a little bit of um, teriyaki sauce. I am showing the calories because, you know, some people like to know how many calories. You can use chicken broth for this, but I like to use beef broth. Make sure you shake it up really, really good. If you've ever used beef broth before, you know it is essential <laughs> to shake that up before you actually use it. And I like to add a cup of water into my um, beef broth starting out just because I feel like when I just use beef broth, it kind of is the taste is kind of a little bit overbearing to me i don't know how to explain it but yeah i do add in water with it and i continue to add in water and beef broth you'll see the um entire time of course we add in veggies and everything because it's gonna start raising up <music> Thank you. 
After putting your roast in the oven, I do like to set a timer to three hours. And after the first hour is up, you are going to just flip your roast over. And you can add in a little bit more beef broth or water if need be. But I didn't need to add anything. So I just flip it over after the first hour has went by. And when it's coming up on the second hour, I do like to go ahead and start chopping up my veggies. So I only like to use potatoes, carrots, and sometimes celery and onions. This time I only had potatoes and <laughs> carrots and onions. I didn't have any celery to put in. And before you say it, I already know that I used the cutter the wrong way. I did show the correct way to use it, but it takes me a so much longer to cut potatoes that way so I just use it the way I know how and I do like to use the organic baby carrots and then just cut them up not into too small of pieces because I don't eat carrots so I like to actually point out the carrots you know inside of the roast and like I don't try to pick them out so this is after the second hour has passed you are going to flip the roast over again and then after the second hour when it's coming up on the third hour I do like to go ahead and put the veggies in right here I am just showing I used the onion I didn't put too much onion you can kind of do it to your taste buds I don't really like a lot of onion but I put a couple pieces in and also with the veggies, I do like to season the veggies separately and I just put some of my favorite seasonings in with it and then just mix it around and I also put the um, veggies inside the refrigerator until it's close to almost the third hour so like 30 minutes before three hours is up is when I put the veggies in because the veggies really only take about 15 to 20 minutes to get really soft so I do put them in about 30 minutes before the three hours is up so season it really good and like I said I store it into the refrigerator then when it's time to put the veggies in I kind of well I'm holding the camera I usually use the spoon and put them in because the beef broth will splash up at me and then I add a little bit more beef broth and I add a little bit more water just to cover the um, top of the roast and you know because the veggies makes the um, broth rise up now bay leaves are very very important in roast and like beef stew so i used two because they were fairly kind of small and the first one was kind of like torn off but this will make it taste extremely good i forgot to record this step but i do mix in the juice from this the beef broth and i mix in flour they kind of get this um, roast a little bit more thicker so this is before putting that in I didn't get a clip of putting it in but you do mix the beef broth and the flour and just pour it in to get the roast thicker I didn't get a chance to take a picture of the roast after it was done because I left to go catch a bath and body Works sale but these are just videos of my previous roast that I've cooked within the past year so I do hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe it really does help me out and comment any other video videos that you would like for me to do bye